Hello everyone, this is GT Media V8 Turbo, it's a Wi-Fi digital satellite receiver. Um, I've had numerous digital receivers uh, in the past, digital satellite receivers by GT Media and they were very good. Uh, from the older versions, V7S and then V8, um, V8X, V9 Prime, I had quite a few and this is another one that I got to try out as well now it's pretty much the same when it comes to the accessories okay you get HDMI cable you also get this antenna as well you also get a free pin plug the same input as well we can see here it also comes with the remote here pretty much the same as the new shape uh, models for the all the other models as well that's the remote um, at the back here it requires two uh, AAA batteries to operate the uh, remote um, the box itself is a lot bigger than the other other models, um, and you can see the front. It has a display here showing you uh, the display. Uh, you got a USB port here. You got the navigation buttons. You got menu, exit, power button here. Um, on the left, there's nothing there. It does have ventilations and you got ventilation on this side so it doesn't overheat. At the back here, the reason why I got this is that a lot of the GT Media ones only has the LMB. This one also has the ANT, so you got both. So you can get more channels, a free view channels um, with the both um, connections. So I'm gonna try this out. It also has the HDMI port. You got SCART lid here, Ethernet port, and you got the RS232 port here. You got the, the mains port there. You got the Wi-Fi antenna that you put in here, and you got the power on and off button here okay underneath here you can see there's more ventilation so it doesn't overheat you got rubber grips as well so it doesn't move side to side and it's made out of full metal so it got a good quality now this does have a built-in uh, 770 um, mhz dual core hevc 10 bit it also has a 64 mb spi flash one gig ram uh, is this supports uh, DVB-S, DVB-T, DVB DVB-C and the resolution of um, the channels that it can show on this box is full HD 1080p okay so stay tuned uh, let me get this set up and I can show you a demo how it looks on the TV screen okay so this is the home page of the V8 Turbo um, on the settings you can see you got the DVB-S, DVB-T DVB-C, um, ATSC, uh, C. These are the like the satellites um, that you can search to search for the free channels. Um, they got the online user guide here. You got the search settings. We got the LMB that you can switch on and off. And then on the right here, you got the TV channel list. You got radio channel list. You got delete all channel um, all channels that you search for. You got the favorites that you, uh, I would highly recommend putting favorites in because otherwise. It will take you ages to find your um, the channels that you um, you scanned. So put the ones that you watch, put on favorites, and make a category. Then you also got the IPTV here as well. Then if I go right, you got the USB storage device, USB settings here. Sometimes the box might need up um, uh, update. So what you need to do is might need to go online. It might be quite complicated, but sometimes you might need to get updated software. Put the USB onto that uh, device. And then update it and just follow the uh, the steps online they'll tell you how to how to do that but that's when it needs it then here you got the network configuration you got the lead dlna you got the asat2 ip you got online movie stb and the network proxy and then you got here the languages so the languages here let's see how many languages there is so there is Quite a few languages to choose from, to be honest. So there is a lot of languages to choose from. You've got the languages, first audio, second audio, subtitle language, you've got the teletext. You can, there's a lot of settings to go through. And then you've got the um, timer settings, local time settings, AV settings, parental lock, OSD settings, and other settings. So other settings, you have uh, the panel LED bright, the power off mode, uh, the power on mode. Uh, there's a a lot of things to ch um, navigate through and change it to your needs. Then you've got the information, you've got the factory settings, you've got the conditional access, you got, look, it says here, the USB upgrade. So that's what I was explaining about, USB dump. That's where you upgrade it. And you, got, you also have the record function as well, but you have to connect to USB first. So that's how it is. What you need to do is obviously now um, to get the channels, you have to first go through the uh, search 
through the satellite and it will find the channels and then put put them to favorites so this is how it looks and for those who want a satellite receiver where it has three channels this is a good box to go for so thank you for watching my video please do give a like and subscribe